New this morning, there are signs that the mental health crisis for kids in Colorado is starting to ease up, but unfortunately, that relief isn't being felt by everyone. Now, news reporter Anusha Roy joins us live in Denver this morning. And Anusha, these are the results from a statewide survey of more than 120,000 kids. Yeah, it's pretty expansive from all across Colorado, and it's been so interesting to be following this issue for several years. We have even on this show talked about so many of these programs and these initiatives, and now we're starting to see some of the impact. So this these numbers are from the Healthy Kids survey from Colorado Department of Health, and it shows that between 2021 and 2023, there was this 14% drop in the number of kids who were feeling sad and hopeless. There was also a drop in the number of kids considering suicide side and then a 1% drop in kids who had attempted suicide. Now the state said at this point it cannot directly answer the why, but they're so encouraged that some of their initiatives are starting to make a difference. Some of those programs include I Matter Colorado that's offering 50,000 free therapy sessions for kids so far to even more screening through schools. Unfortunately, though, this relief is not being felt everywhere and there are still significant health disparities, particularly for kids in the LGBTQ plus community. Stephen Hayden with Envision U said part of the reason is a lack of culturally responsive care and then also politics. Just broadly, all young people, um, we're living in an incredibly politically divisive time. And for LGBTQ youth, particularly trans youth, these individuals, young people who have uh, great promise in their life, have been demonized by political leaders uh, across this country. So right now, kids in the LGBTQ plus community are still considering suicide at three to four times higher rates. And with the start of the new school year, Hayden is really encouraging families to start paying attention to screen time, really start to look for things like cyberbullying. He's also making sure that people know about all of those resources like the programs we just mentioned. He made a really interesting point that he has observed that more and more people are actually open to asking for help right now, which is such a major change. But unfortunately, we're also still dealing with that ongoing behavioral health care shortage with the workers and the professionals in this industry that can actually help folks. And so that means that people are still having a really hard time getting in for that care and facing those wait times. And coming up at 7 a.m. on KTVD, we're going to hear from Children's Hospital Colorado. They have been on the front lines of this issue for years. We're going to get their take on this survey as well. Reporting live in Denver, Anusha Roy, 9 News.